Hi, I'm Lindsay. I taught myself to roller skate in 30 days and I'm gonna teach you how to too. This is day three of your 30 day learn to roller skate program. Today we're gonna be learning how to do toe stop walks, spread eagle stops, T stops, heel manuals, arabesques, transition to stop, weaving, and a bunch of hops and jumps. But first, we're gonna get started with our warm up. So our first warm up exercise is bubbles. We're gonna be starting with bubbles in place, just back and forward, just like I'm showing here. Make sure to keep your knees bent and your core tight and try to look straight forward even though I don't always do that, but it's good practice too. Go ahead and do 20 back and forward and then we are going to move on to what I'm doing here, which is moving back and forward. So multiple bubbles in a row. Let's do six times down and back of the multiple bubbles. Next in our warm up, we have crossover steps. So we're gonna start off with the easiest one which is in a circle and you're just crossing over the outer foot over top of the other side. Make sure to go both directions. Let's do five circles each way. Next, we're gonna warm up our crossover steps forward. So you're gonna cross over one foot and then step the other foot back so that the feet are back in line and parallel, just like I'm doing here. So go ahead and do six passes of that. And then we are on to manual practice in place. So toe up in the front, heel up in the back, and we are switching back and forward. Let's do this 20 times. Next, we are warming up transitions in place. So remember, open the door, close the door. Look where your hand is going and you're trying to get your feet to be into a perfect line, even though it's not gonna happen, but trying to get as close as you can. So 180 degrees, 180 degrees back. Let's do that 10 times. Each direction. Yay, now we're done with the warm up. Let's move on to new skills. Our first skill that we're gonna be learning today and the easiest is toe stop walks. This is just to get you familiar on your toe stops and to where they are and how they feel on the ground and how to use them. First, we're gonna start out by getting up onto our toe stops and then walking around, staying up on our toe stops, keeping our knees bent and our core tight and just getting comfortable. Once you've spent a couple minutes on that, let's practice hopping up onto our toe stops. So popping up, facing both directions, turning around, walking around. Let's hop up onto our toe stops 20 times. Being able to do this is gonna help a lot during one of the next moves we learn. But before we learn that way of stopping, we're gonna learn my favorite way of stopping, which is the spread eagle stop. To perform this stop, you're going to be pushing off, going into your spread eagle position, so both feet facing out, also known as like a mohawk turn, I think, in ice skating. It's like the easiest way of stopping because you're just changing directions and that change of direction slows you down enough to stop you. And it's also like so smooth and really easy. So let's go over this in slow motion. So I'm gonna push off or like I'm rolling forward already. Then I'm going to turn my back foot out. And because my feet don't do a perfect 180, it makes it so I change directions in kind of a half moon style circle. Let's go ahead and practice this 10 times and try to do it with both sides, but you're probably gonna find that one side is easier than the other. The next move that we're going to learn is the T-stop. The way this works is you're going to be skating forward and then you will slow down momentum by scooting one foot behind the other foot in the shape of a T. So if you're on flat hardwood floors, this is way easier than it is outdoors. If you're on something that isn't flat, like bumpy cement, this is gonna be super hard and your back foot's just gonna bounce up and down. So make sure to give yourself some forgiveness because it's really hard to do outside. Let's go ahead and practice this 10 times on both sides. Next, we're gonna be working on one foot manuals and then getting creative with them. So one foot manual will be just the front foot today. So front foot on the heel, back foot flat. Go ahead and practice just lifting your front foot up into the heel down, toe up position. And then you can go ahead and start rolling. Let's try this 10 times on each foot. Make sure to keep both knees bent and this should be pretty easy, I bet you'll have it. Here's a view of what it looks like overhead, and now that you have it, let's get creative and start weaving back and forth with our feet. So try one foot, 
heel weaving back and forth in and out and then the other foot and you can go creative and make little figure eights and this can be a really fun little move to do and a great way to get stable before learning how to do a full manual. The next move is super straightforward. It is an arabesque, but it can be a little bit tricky to learn. So you wanna start off really small with a low foot and then you can progress to a higher foot like I have here. When you're doing this, make sure to keep the bottom legs slightly bent and try to look forward. Let's go ahead and practice this 10 times on either side, gradually increasing the height of your back leg. The next move we're gonna learn is super important and I use it all the time. It is putting together the two things that we learned earlier, the transition and the double toe stop. So we're gonna call this the transition to double toe stop. To perform this move, you're gonna start out rolling forward. You're gonna open up to transition and then shift your weight slightly forward onto those toe stops to stop the motion. So you're gonna start off rolling forward, open up to transition and then toe stops down. Here's a bunch more angles and views so you can see what my feet are doing. You wanna do this on both sides. I'm really good at one side, but it's good to practice both sides. So let's go ahead and practice this five times on your left and five times on your right. And then once you have a favorite, go ahead and practice it five times more because if you need to stop in an emergency, you're gonna to wanna to be really good at at least one side. At first, your transition might feel a little choppy, especially if you're doing the open the door, close the door technique, but eventually it'll feel really smooth just like that last clip. The second to last move is weaving, and this is a super fun move, and it's a super easy way to show off to your friends that you know how to roller skate and you are good at what you do, even though it's secretly super easy. So just like how you were doing bubbles earlier, except you are actually crossing over the front foot and then uncrossing and then crossing over your back foot as your new front foot. Make sure to keep your knees bent and also use your legs to push outwards as your legs open up. Let's go ahead and practice this five times. The last skill we're gonna learn today is a series of hops and jumps and they're all really fun. So first we're just gonna start out by hopping side to side, increasing in speed and height. So we're starting off small steps, just stepping side to side, lifting up that knee. Then we're gonna speed it up a little bit. Here we go, and push open side to side a little bit higher. And as you start to master this and be able to go higher and faster, you'll see that this transfers really well into skating fast. So go ahead and practice your hop side to side 30 times total, increasing in speed and height. And we are on to our two foot hops now. So we're just gonna start off by slowly rolling and doing little tiny hops. Your feet can be side by side or they can be slightly staggered. Either way is fine. Both will help you in the long run. Make sure to use your arms for this. So I'm swinging just a tiny bit. You can swing a little bit more if you want to. So swing your arms up and on the upswing, jump and feel weightless. Once you've mastered tiny jumps, we are onto our pivot jumps. So feet in a staggered stance and you are doing that same tiny hop, except this time you are pivoting your hips to the side. Your head should be spotting something in front of you and then spotting something behind you. The goal is being able to keep your feet staying in a straight line. Let's go ahead and do 20 of those. Each one counts as one jump front to back and you are all done for today. Really great job. Make sure if you haven't yet to pick up your free 30 day learn to skate challenge checklist and I will see you tomorrow.